So this is Bible for October 29th. Um, we've been talking about or we're learning about our sheep or lambs. So today we're going to make our Bible connection. This is the best part of Bible class to me. So our memory verse, let's say it three times. Hopefully you're going to be able to cover it with your, cover your um, Bible verse with your hand and say it from memory by today. Psalms 23, 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. Psalms 23, 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. Psalms 23, 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. Very good. So our animal connection is, so we have learned that the sheep only live about eight years. We learned that they can grow up to be 240 pounds as big as a grown man. We learned that a male sheep is called a ram. A female sheep is called a ewe. We learned that their, the fat of a sheep is called tallow. I did not know that until this Bible lesson. Um, so we've learned a lot of things about sheep. But what, what we haven't learned yet, what we're going to learn today, is that sheep depend completely on humans. They can't find food or water without help. They cannot defend themselves. Sheep get lost easily and they can't seem to stay out of trouble without a shepherd nearby. In Psalms 23, 1, King David describes himself as the sheep and he describes God as his shepherd because God is our shepherd. We never have to worry about anything. We don't have to worry about what we're going to eat, what we're going to wear. We, we don't have to worry about bad things happening to us because God is there for us. He's there to make sure that we have the things we need. He's there to be our protector. He's there to be our guide. Sheep um, know they need a shepherd. They know that they need him so much that they're always listening out. And a shepherd will actually call his sheep to him when they need to eat or when they need to get out of danger. So they're always listening for their shepherd. We should always be listening to our shepherd, who is Father God, who is Jesus. We should be listening to him to, to do what he's asking us to do, to keep us out of trouble or in order to be a blessing to us. So that is the way God wants us to be. He wants us to be listening to him by reading his Bible and by praying, by obeying, and following him because he knows that we know that we need him. So don't ever think that you don't need Father God, that you don't need Jesus, because we should always be listening and praying and following him by doing what his word asks us to do. And that's our animal connection for today.